guys. Hope you're having a great day today. Okay, today's video, I'm gonna be making some breakfast burritos. So I'm doing a little bit different freezer meal prep this month because of situations, circumstances, and how my life is right now. And then I was getting a lot of comments from people saying that they just, how can they do all that one day? And yeah, that's awesome. I can do it all one day. And then they think they never can do it. Well, the way I'm doing it right now is something that you can do. And so you watched the other video where I did my pizzas. So that's done for the month. So today my goal was to go to the lake, but if you look outside, it is cloudy and kind of drizzly. So I'm like, ugh. So <laughs> change of plan. I have all my stuff for breakfast burritos. Earlier this week, I cooked my breakfast sausage and I cooked my bacon. Um, and for my pizza and then I put in the refrigerator and so I thought you know what I will make those today So I'm gonna make a whole lot I don't know we'll see at the end of this video how many breakfast burritos I come up with but this will be another thing I will put in the freezer and we'll eat it all month long So this is for you mamas that think you cannot do this freezer meal prep You can do this stuff. So like I did my pizzas today I'm gonna do my breakfast burritos and then we will see how everything else unfolds so you can watch how we do these So you saw that I we mixed up those eggs, we cooked them, and then we're, we did them until they're kind of partially set, almost pretty well set, and then I poured them in the bowl. So in my bowl, I had some cooked 
ground sausage. I had two packages and then there's bacon that I used in my um, food processor, probably two or three packages I would think about there. And then I had ham lunch meat. I just I chopped it up and diced it real small. And then what I'm going to do to this is add some cheese to it. I'm actually going to add a little bit of nacho cheese, like the cheddar cheese, just because this is going to be for my kids and they're not into spicy peppers or anything weird or even potatoes. I always get, what's that white thing in there? So they like it more cheesy, like I know they've had McDonald's and they love the cheesy flavor. So if I add a little bit of nacho cheese, so I have these little tiny cans, it's like the big cheddar cheese you get from Sam's Club, but I had small ones I got from the discount, discount store. So I'm gonna add one of those, add some regular shredded cheese, probably a couple cups, and then um, stir it up, and then we'll be making tons of breakfast burritos. But what I'm gonna do is make another batch of eggs because I have a lot of eggs and I have a lot of tortillas that I got. So Stephen just cracked all my eggs for me, so I gotta go through the bowl and pull out some shells and then <laughs> mix up another batch so we can mix this all together.
Okay, so we just wrapped up all of those burritos. There is 80 burritos, so that'll be really a lot of them. The last is well over the month. So the longest thing that this video took was cooking the eggs, and that was just because I put five dozen eggs in the pan. That took me 30 minutes just to cook that. So that was the longest. The girls and I rolled it out real quick, put them away within 10 minutes, and we are done. So for your mamas out there, you can do this. Just take some time, break it up, do your meats first, you put some veggies in there, do those separate, and then do your eggs when you know you gotta stretch your time, and then put it all together, and it has to sit for a little bit, and then you can roll them up. So, okay, we will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye-bye.